Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today. So what we have here is the Leatherman Crater C33. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a really big fan of Leatherman products. Uh, they just have really well thought out designs, you know, the Leatherman Sidekick, Leatherman Wingman, uh, Leatherman Blast, the, the Wave, uh, this little Squirt PS4, just lots of really good designs. So when I saw that they had come out with a folding knife, I thought I'd check it out. So here it is. This is the Crater C33. Now there are several variants and several versions of this knife. Uh, this one that you see here is my favorite and I'll talk a little bit more about that as we uh, go along here. And mostly I just see this as just a nice little utility knife. Uh, so just it makes a really nice little everyday carry knife. I've been carrying this for uh, probably about the ma last month and a half or, or so. And uh, you know not exclusively I carry lots of stuff but this has been in the mix and uh, it's been getting some use and I really like it. So uh, it's also you know a knife that would just make a really nice outdoors knife, whether that's for hiking, backpacking, things like that. It only weighs about 2.4 ounces, so it's a fairly lightweight little folder, and uh, so definitely make a nice little outdoors knife. Uh, it's not really a collectible or a tactical blade. Uh, again, with that, that blade is about 2.6 inches long. So for a little everyday carry, you know, kind of utility knife, it's a really nice size. Uh, not really big enough for what I would carry as a defensive knife. Obviously you could use it that way if, if you had to, but not ideal. So uh, looking at that blade a little further, uh, it's a nice blade shape. Uh, as you can tell, you, uh, you have a decent amount of belly in there, so it, it makes slicing uh, fairly easy, and it really performs very well. It, it's a pretty standard, very classic blade shape. Nothing really special going on there. Uh, it is hollow ground. Uh, I do like hollow grind. Uh, they, it makes the knife slice really well, and uh, so I, I've been happy with, with the blade shape. Now you'll notice there is kind of an unsharpened swedge going on up there at the top. Uh, now interestingly, it's not really symmetrical. Uh, I don't know if that's a manufacturing defect or if that's the way they designed it, but you'll notice the swedge comes back much further on the left side than it does on the, uh, I'm sorry, on, on the right side there. You'll see it comes back much further than it does on the left side. I don't know. It doesn't really affect anything. It you know functions just fine. Your tip on there is fairly stout. You know it's not it's not uh, overly weak, so you're not going to snap off that tip accidentally. And uh, yet it's it's still very sharp. So I I really like the blade shape overall. And uh, also if you look at that final relief edge on there, they did a really nice job. It's nice and large, uh, easy to see, and easy to resharpen. So I really like that. Now the steel that they use in here is a 420 HC. And 420HC is a steel that Leatherman uses a whole lot in uh, their multi-tools. And so it's something that they know, that they know, they know how to heat treat correctly. And uh, overall, I found the 420HC to be a good serviceable steel, kind of a mid-range steel. It's not, you know, something really high-end, but it holds the edge just fine. You know, it's, uh, it's going to hold the edge long enough that you can use it. Uh, it. It's also easy to resharpen. I haven't noticed any major corrosion issues. Uh, so overall, I like the steel. It's, it's just a good, solid, serviceable steel that you, you don't have to worry about right, too much. So overall, I really like the blade, and it's functioned really well for me. So uh, looking at this handle on here, you'll notice that tucked back here is actually an extra tool. And uh, so that's kind of typical of Leatherman, you know, taking a, uh, an item and figuring out a way to add extra functionality to it. And uh, so what this is, is actually a, a dual item. It functions both as a carabiner and as a bottle opener. And it functions really well in both of those roles. And uh, so it just tucks in right back there really easily and folds out. Uh, it does actually just have a little bit of a, uh, a ledge so that you can use just to kind of snag it with your uh, thumb. And just flip it out. And so that works out really nicely. Now it does technically lock into this position. So there's a little bit of a play in there, you know doesn't lock up all that solidly. And the way you unlock it is you just press it in and then it will unlock. So very easy to use and really that kind of you know very minimal locking hasn't really been an issue. You know it works out just fine. So just you know a little extra added functionality there. So that's really nice. Uh, you can you know you could hang this from a backpack uh, or you know whatever. Now uh, Looking at these handles a little closer, they are just kind of a molded polymer. They don't add a ton of traction, really. Uh, you know, they're fairly nice looking. Uh, the shoulders on there are fairly... They're not really all that rounded. You know, it's kind of harsh corners. Uh, it doesn't hurt your hand or anything, but it's not a super, you know, molded handle. So just basic, you know, polymer handles on here. Uh, not a ton of traction, but they are easy to clean and uh, fairly durable. Now, you'll, you'll also notice it is basically a flow-through construction. So you, you open that up and uh, 
you don't have a lot of, of bracing in there or anything, which is fine. I mean, if I, you know, press on this, I can get it to flex in just a little bit, but you're definitely not going to break it. It's a, it's a very durable little knife. And uh, now looking at the lock on here, it is just a kind of a standard little liner lock. Not a super thick liner in there. I, I don't think that'll be really that big of an issue. You know, I think for most realistic uses of just a small little folding knife like this, it'll be, you know, completely, you know, strong enough. And uh, it locks up very solidly. Now, uh, as far as deployment on this knife, it's fairly fast. Um, you just have a little bit of a thumb stud right there. Now, this pretty much is a right-handed only knife. Uh, this is not really going to be that great of a knife for a lefty uh, for several reasons, partly just that liner lock. Uh, but this thumb stud, as you can tell, it's, it's well designed. Uh, they have a channel cut out here, so it's easy to get to. And I, I like it. It doesn't cut up your thumb. It's easy to, uh, to actuate. Uh, it's not going to be able to flip to the other side. It's just pressed in. Uh, but very easy to pop that blade out and get it open quickly and uh, so I like that now as far as play in that that lock up there is just a little bit of side to side play right now uh, that's maybe what helps it you know fly open so quickly now it is mini torx bit construction on there as you can tell so if you wanted to you can tighten that up and uh, that that'd be really easy to do you can take this apart totally if you need to uh, but again with that flow through construction which I really like it's gonna be very easy to you know brush or you know wash this out uh, maybe take some compressed air and, and blow it out uh, very easy to service now uh, like I said it is very light right around, right around 2.4 ounces even with that extra tool back there and part of the way they do that is that they've only put a steel they, they haven't put steel on this side on the uh, on the uh, on the non-locking side so this side is just a solid you know sheet of plastic the other side is a solid sheet of plastic and then they've sandwiched in that liner lock so that's partly how they keep it so lightweight now there's also kind of an interesting uh, I don't know a little bit of a design feature in here you'll notice there's just a little bit of a plastic disc kind of sitting in there and that's just molded right into the handle and what that does is when your knife is closing it just makes sure that that blade centers and uh, that's important because that blade kind of nests right inside your uh, the back side of your carabiner. So uh, that, that little nub there is rubbing the blade, but it's just making sure that that blade is centering perfectly so that it's not, you know, hitting on this tool. Uh, now moving on to your clip, the, uh, the clip's kind of a downside. Uh, it's, you know, tip down carry only. It's really large and shiny. Now it, it carries the knife fine. I haven't lost the knife obviously. Uh, it retains it in your pocket just fine. It rides fairly deep, so I like all that. Uh, but you're basically stuck with it right where it is. You're not going to be able to move it anywhere else on the knife. So, clip works. It's not ideal. You know, I prefer to be able to put it on different spots of the blade. And that, again, that's another reason why this is pretty much a right-handed only knife. You know, lefties are kind of out of luck when it comes to this design. So, overall though, I think it's a, a pretty decent little folding knife. Now, one last thing to mention is that it's not all that thin. You know, if, if you notice, just kind of that sandwich design, uh, you know, and, and sandwich construction means that it's not really all that thin. And... Uh, I don't have anything good to compare it to here, but uh, you know, if, if you, you're somebody that's really, really conscious about you needing a super thin knife, uh, this may not be the ticket. Uh, now, the upside of that is that because it is kind of thick, uh, it does feel pretty good in the hand. It kind of fills the hand and feels nice. So, uh, as far as competitive options go, uh, I did mention there are some other versions of this. There's uh, a version that's assisted opening. I believe that's like the uh, Crater C33L. Uh, there are uh, partially serrated versions of these. And there's also one that's going to be a, a bit thicker than this one. This isn't overly thick, but I wouldn't want to add any extra to it. But there is one that actually has a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver in it as well. Uh, to me, I carry a multi-tool already, so I don't really need drivers in my knife. Maybe to you that would be an advantage. So, there are some other options. Now, this one uh, is going right around $14. So, you know, again, you know, there are a few little quirks to it, but overall, for $14, uh, definitely worth it. Now, the assisted one, I believe that's going around around $20. So, for me, it wasn't really worth, you know, like a 25% 
25% more to uh, make this assisted. To you, maybe it would be. And I think the one with the drivers in it is going to be around 25 So, to me, this is the best deal. 14 bucks for just a good little lightweight utility blade. That's totally worth it. Now, as far as competitive options, you know, there are some, some other good blades out there. For example, this. This is the Bucklight Max. Small. Um, check out my review of this. I did review this. Same steel as this, 420HC. A little bit lighter. This is under 2 ounces. So, definitely a good knife. Definitely a better pocket clip. Now, this is stuck where it is as well, but it's tip up, which I prefer, and it carries really deeply. Nicer design. So, this is a good one. This is a back lock. Uh, this is also going to be a little bit more left hand friendly. I guess that clip's not, but the back lock and the thumb studs are. So, check out the Bucklight Max. Uh, another good option, Kershaw Crown 2. This is a little bit classier knife, but similar price range, around 15 bucks. Um, here's just a little bit more expensive knife. This is the Spyderco Bird Metal Arc, uh, Metal Arc 2 FRN. I think this is going to be around 20, maybe 25 bucks, but nice and lightweight, has the uh, kind of spider hole mechanism on there. This is a good little knife too to check out. So there are some competitive options, but again, for around 15 bucks, totally worth it. So if you have any questions at all about the Crater C33, feel free to leave that in the comments. And if you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe, and uh, everyone have a nice day.